Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to What Do You Say Anime. I am your host, Peter. And on today's episode, the gang and I will be discussing the 2020 anime pet. Joining me, the pet of the podcast himself, Cat. Cat, how's it going? Hey, how y'all doing? It's been a while since I've actually come up with an introduction for the uh, for the podcast, but uh, I have to say that in the beginning, there was a there was an anime that I nominated a while ago. Uh, it's called Nambaka, and um, it has been a running theme in the Discord. You can join in, by the way. Uh, it's in the link of the bio. Sick but, blood. Uh, yeah. But I nominated it, and it won, and I got I got picked on because of it ever since, because it's like a third or fourth lowest rated show. Um, and I decided I'm going to find a show that... People will hate. And I nominated Pet because it was that show. I, I And think, yeah, I have right. to say, I have to say, fuck you all. Well, and fuck everybody. <laughs> I can say that this is better than Don Baca, and I'm glad that you respect the three minute rule of not swearing. So thank you, Cat. Glad to have you. Uh, joining us today, also our first moderator of the night, we have Mr. Miles himself. Miles, how's it going? Good. I accidentally watched Pet Cemetery, so my takes are going to be uh, <laughs> different, I guess. They're, my, my, my takes are going to come back different. Um, so I'll be sure to interject with what my opinion is, but I don't know how much use I'll be. Oh, uh, man. I hope you don't crush our dreams, but we have, we'll have we still get a good discussion going. And our second moderator of the night, Young... Patrick Mills representing Australia in the Olympics. Pat, how is it going over there in uh, Tokyo, Japan? Uh, well, it's like 7 a.m. I got up early to, you know, do this podcast with you guys. We're we're doing good. We're feeling uh we're feeling jazzed up, especially after hearing the US team just decides to lose to um Nigeria's Nigeria, basketball yep. Basketball team, you know, we we realize we have a chance now, you know, to beat Kevin Durant and four other all-stars in a uh, competitive setting um, because that's totally realistic and should be happening in the Olympics. But anyways, yeah, this bit still goes. Uh, <laughs> it's never it's stopping. Still, it's never stopping, apparently. <laughs> until um, so, until an image user gets into my brain and changes my mer- my memories, it's never stopping. <laughs> oh, clever. <laughs> Damn. Cle- clever. Um, yeah, we watched Pet. Um yeah. <laughs> yeah, we watched it all right. <laughs> yeah, we watched Pet. Um I wish I didn't. Let's uh let's do our I, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am I am just so so not into this. Uh we uh what do we do normally? We normally first do impressions. first impressions. First yeah, impressions. Well, these We're are gonna start at the top of the screen. Well yes. I, I got you, buddy. I'm here yeah, to carry you. It is Kate Cod's turn to speak. So no when you only see one pair of footprints in the sand that I am putting you on my back. Um so What a guy. <laughs> um Yeah, so my, my first favorite. impressions of uh pet was like yikes. Um <laughs> Episodes one and two specifically are like some of the worst episodes of anime that I have ever seen. Uh, there's just a lot of issues about them. They sort of put you in like in medias res, and then you like have this little arc in like episode one, and you, you figure out how all that gets resolved. And then in episode two, they just like fill in some time from episode one. Um, that wasn't necessary at all it was a just an abject disaster um however as the show went on it ended up being kind of okay would i recommend this show probably not if you watched inception and you were like inception's the best movie i've ever seen and then you watch paprika and you're like i can't get enough of this and then you watch the chinese knockoff version of inception and you were like i still like this oh my god it's so good watch pet um if you just like are looking for an anime to watch? Don't watch Pet. Watch anything else. Watch Yuru Camp. Pete seems to like Yuru Camp. Watch that instead. I love Yuru Camp. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I have my figurine right here. There, there's the Deshko. All right. Okay, Cat. How, how about you, buddy? 
the person who right. nominated this show and cussed us out for <laughs> voting for it. Um, in case anyone didn't catch that, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, so I have three first impressions actually. Uh, so the first first impression is the first impression that I had the first time I was watching it. I was looking through Amazon Prime looking for some type of anime to watch because at the time, Amazon Prime was the only anime streaming service that I could actually use without a buffering. So I found Pet up there and I watched it all the way through. And I was like, this is really, really good. And that was the first time I was like, hey, guys, you should watch Pet. And that was the first time that I actually nominated it. And then after you guys were like, I'm not fucking watching this, I was like, okay. And then I was like, why don't they believe me? So I'll watch it again. And then I realized this show is trash. And then I was like, oh, wait, I have, I have something that I need to do. And then I remembered Nanbaka. Anyway, you already know how that happened, how that ended up. And then my third first impression was that this show's first two episodes are a clusterfuck. They have barely anything to do with the rest of the show, and all it is there to do, the second episode is there for, for world building. That is to say that it didn't have to world build that way, and that you could have figured something else out. Like, you could have done literally anything else to describe their powers. You could have done that with another character that might not have even been, like, in the first episode and maybe had, like, the second episode be a completely different, like, standoff. And it would still be the same, maybe even better. But, like, it's still, like, it was just a clusterfuck. And then, you know, like, this this the first... First two episodes, except for my first actual watch through, uh, it it wasn't that great. Like I, I, I literally nominated the show to torture some of the people that that have watched it. So, well, thanks for that. So, would you recommend it, or would you only recommend it for people <laughs> who are trying to torture? Uh, I would recommend it for people who you are trying to torture, but not torture that much. Okay. So like a mild amount of torture. That sounds Yeah. <laughs> kind of like a kind of like a six on the pain scale. A okay. troll. Yeah. A basic troll, not a uh, full on miser- misery maker, I suppose. Uh, yeah. <laughs> misery maker. <laughs> it's a good spin off of the Yuri on Ice uh OP, Misery Maker. Oh nice. Yeah. <laughs> we were yeah, yeah. born to live in misery. Count it. Yes, yes let's go. Make, make misery and it would have been the, we the were born to big misery. I did. Yeah, there you go. I don't want to correct him. He trying. You uh, know what I mean? Like, hey, that's why I don't rap or sing. I just do a podcast. Syntax. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe my career on the basketball court ends soon, and I can <laughs> drop a sick mixtape. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. God damn it, uh, Pete. What have you got about uh, pet? Yeah, pet. pet. Um, when this originally came watch, out, buddy. yeah. When I tried to start this show when it originally came out i dropped it like midway through episode one and then going into this rewatch i kind of wanted to do the same especially going into the or after finishing episode two as well i was like holy moly like this show sucks major balls i think at this point i was like a three i would put it at like the the characters that were introduced were like not fun wasn't having didn't care about anything that was happening it really didn't like drop my attention I will say later on in the show, it definitely changes. Um, I just think that they dropped the ball pretty hard on how the show started. So I had like really bad, like pretty negative things to say about the show uh, at the beginning. Just if I would recommend it, I would say it's really close. Um, I think it stuck the landing pretty well. But if I would actually recommend it, it's hard to push through those first couple episodes. Honestly, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Uh, what Miles said, if you're like an Inception like fan, that style of show, maybe give it a shot. I don't know, but like this was a pretty bad beginning to a show that ended up being pretty okay. You it's could just... honestly start at episode three. Yeah, I you think, probably like, should. You could just start at episode three. I wish like, I did. <laughs> yeah, like start at, if 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 you like Inception shorter. like a lot, start at episode three. 
And yeah, go because you'll like figure out the characters as the show yeah. goes on. It's like, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Or read a synopsis of one of two. It's like, hey, you want to, yeah, like the like, guy who wears the have been... the guy who wears the suits important. Like you could put that together. Like it's not yeah. that hard. Like, uh, yeah. So it, it, what we can talk about more as we go on, but just first impressions was pretty one of the worst like first three episodes I've ever seen in anime. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh... My name's Patty Mills. Uh, I watched Pet uh, based off of this. Well, this does sound like a confession. It does. It sounds like you're starting an AA meeting. I feel like <laughs> I'm in about as much pain as most people. In two hours what's, since I finished Pet. What's more irritating, an AA meeting or Pet? An AA meeting. <laughs> Those stories can be a little crazy, have a little bit more fun to them. I don't know. I really liked Fight Club. That has AA meetings in it. There you go. Um... Doesn't doesn't Forrest Gump have one too? I I don't know. Maybe not. No, I'm fucking, I'm tired. Uh, yeah. So yeah, like I said, I watched Pet based off the the club needing to. Uh, knew I did not want to watch it. I voted for it though, so it's my own fault. This is uh my own. Uh, Newsflash: Vote for shows that you actually want to watch, not shows no. that you want to strategize against. So, right, well, <laughs> there you go. I guess that's true. But Newsflash: Nominate shows I want to watch. Then, please. Ooh. There, that's the call out on oh. there we go. Oh. Um, it was a rough one. Yeah. Snap. No, that last that the week we nominated this was especially rough, though. Like this was a, <laughs> a really rough week. Um, I, I I I kid. But anyways, yeah. So Pat, it uh. Like everyone else has said so far, those first two episodes, I was sitting there watching them, and I was just like, man, I might intentionally miss Watch Club this time. And I have never done that. I have never been like, nope, I'm not going to finish a show. I'm just going to miss. Like, I've, It's always been outstanding circumstances, and this one was the first one to make me want to do it. Of course, that was after the first few episodes. Did it improve as the show went on? I found myself getting a little more interested in it, but I don't know, man. I just didn't care. I think I was just a little too checked out to really care about what was going on in this show. Um, it has a little bit of like psychic -y powers in it too. I'm not a big fan of that ever. You know, I'm going to hold Hina Matsuri. He, I, I didn't even really like it in that, that much either. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, again, that's just never my, my shtick. It's never my, my preferred style of, power systems i guess if you will so so yeah i don't know man if pet is just pet i would not recommend this to i would not recommend this to anybody i I'd, I'd say go watch if you're like you guys are saying oh oh if you liked inception watch this like no just go watch inception again that you'll still you'll see something that you didn't see the first time you know like you'll you'll you'll, you'll get more enjoyment out of that and uh I cannot understand how this is rated higher on Mal than so many other things. That's that's all I can can really say. Because uh, again, the, the that first impression is left such a terrible taste in my mouth. I I understand why Pete dropped this mid first episode. You binged this all people, today, right? For the most part, yeah. I, okay. I think I watched like five minutes last night, but I fell asleep really early last night, and then I binged the rest of it throughout. The day. I wonder if that matters because like I watched the first two episodes and then waited like four days and then continued with my because show. You were like, yeah, damn, I really don't want to watch this, right? Exactly. Correct. Then, like, <laughs> Correct. <laughs> man, man, it's like that's helping my point. But yeah, you're right. I, I get what you're saying though. Like, I'm sure I would have enjoyed it more if I watched it sequent like segmented. But did I want to enjoy this? Um, I don't know. You know, it's a question. Like, I'm, I'm I think that's a good. That I, I think that's a yeah. good point because I think yeah. uh, if we could transition away from first impressions, I think yeah. one of the biggest things that the show could have done really well and kind of fumbled the bag on it is just the, the presentation of um, like the two types of users that they have in this world that have these powers. You have like the image user. Um, who what, who was it? Satoru and Hiroki were the image users. And, yeah. then, and then we had Sukasa, who was like the other part of the puzzle piece of mm -hmm. like these like my like these like mind manipulation things that they had going on. And I feel like the concept that they had was there to be like a pretty solid um, 
tool device for like these like mind manipulation things. I feel like they just kind of like dropped the ball in the beginning episodes, like trying to explain like the valleys and the peaks and what each user did and what they used to like essentially like why they were there like doing it to these people. I thought that they had something like really something was there for them to like make this show like pretty good and just how they executed it was bad. I, I don't know if it's just like the cast was just so bad. Um, that made me just like resonate that. Like I didn't like any of the characters. I couldn't really, like, I should say I, I liked them as the show went on, but early in the show, like if you want me to like resonate with characters early on, it just didn't work. It's just like what I, I was trying to think of like inception and like why, like you like Leonardo DiCaprio's character so well. It's like, I feel like Leo was casted very well for that role. I could get, um, attached to his character, like really, um, quickly. And it's just like, well, what if Seth Rogen was Leonardo DiCaprio's character? It's like, it wouldn't make any sense. And that's kind of like how I felt in the beginning of the show when they introduced this cast is like, the the characters like the casting felt wrong like they they like they're casting the movie incorrectly i don't know if anybody else has any like qualms about that but like that's kind of like the impression i was getting uh spoilers yeah. going so, forward by the way just throwing that so, out there spoiler spoilers only oh yeah we're, uh, gonna, going so, forward. we're gonna spoil pet for you yeah i know yeah um so my issue with the uh after the first few episodes my issue with the show was that it continued to, it, it it kind of tried to fancy itself, kind of like a, uh, kind of like a vying between like a few different sides. Like you had, uh, hold on, let me pull up my mouth. There we go. All right, so you had like Sukasa, who was basically doing his, basically having like a a partial like side against everybody else. You had. Hiroki and Satoru, uh, which is more aligned at the end, uh, near to the end, but like they were both kind of angled towards the same end goal, kind of, uh, throughout as the show progresses. You had Hayash Hayashi, who really just wanted to, like, really just wanted peace. Like, but like everybody had these different goals going throughout, but like, the character and the way they acted inside of the show was so off. Like, like it was like they were trying to go here, but it was like they're going up here, you know? Like, the point, they're completely missing the point where they want their characters to go. And it's, it's such a, it, and near to the end of the show, it kind of, like, a, a readjusts itself down to the point that they want them to be at. Not necessarily the greatest, but, like, it's there. Um, but, like, it just feels... It just feels like something needs to change for that to... For that to go completely where it needs to be. Like, it's kind of like trying to force a puzzle piece into a place that is not completely right. Like... You, the first time you're putting it into a place that's completely wrong, and then something that looks kind of like it, and then a place that you can kind of force it in. And that's kind of like how I view the three stages of Pat. Yeah, I, my issue is that I think they just do an awful job of establishing relationships and motivations. And then, yeah. like, over the course of, like, five episodes or so, you get there, and so it starts making sense. Um... But like you need to do that really quickly yes. when you're when you're putting a show together. You know what I mean? You only have thirteen episodes, um, and so like you know what? How people stood in response to the, like or in line of the company and each other and all of that. I don't think was like very established until they started interacting with each other in like episode four or five. Um, mm -hmm. And then, like, once you got there, it sort of, like, picked up and stuff, but, like, y you've wasted a lot of your screen time, and you actively, like, I actively disliked some of these people because they were wasting my frickin' time. So, like, um, you know, it, it took a while, like, they had to start from, like, a valley <laughs> instead of, um, nice, like, uh, you know, like, sea level or whatever to, like, build up that sort of 
motivation and caring and all of that. And yeah. once they figured it out, I quite enjoyed it. I was sort of excited about the last like episode or two, but it, it did just take forever to get there, like a really long time. And I think that's like, that is like one of the biggest flaws with it. The other one, and I, I just want to talk about one scene, if that's okay with everyone. Um, Does it involve okay. Satoru? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Pat, I, I talked to the other guys about this for a little bit, but so Satoru is like, I feel like a relatively, he's supposed to be like a sympathetic character. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, he doesn't really know what's going on. For the most part, his actions seem like he's, like, a good guy. He cares about his friends. He cares about his mentor. You know, all of that sort of stuff. Whereas some of these other... Like, Sukasa is an absolute fucking sociopath. Mm-hmm. Um, he's, like, an absolute psych- psychopath. But when Satoru meets Jin, it's, like, heavily implied that he was, like, going to date rape her, essentially. Um, and that... Why? I don't understand. It is not in line with his character at all. But whenever they were doing the, like, Sotaro's a sympathetic guy, we should care about him, which is supported by everything else, uh, I just remembered, this guy tried to rape someone. What the fuck? Yeah, and it was really out of place. It was so yeah. weird. And I just, like... Anime? You know? I, yeah, but, like... I'm just anime, right? I, I But anime is normally, cool. like, oops, I tripped and grabbed your boobies. Not, like... I'm going I'm to gonna rape fucking you. Rape you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to cut to you. Like, yeah, like he was trying to alter her memories so he could bang her, which is like really rapey. Duh. And she plays it off like, haha, I caught you, when the correct answer is to shoot him in the fucking face. Um, and she yeah. almost does. <laughs> so, yeah, later. Um, but like, uh, yeah, I don't like the. What did you guys think about? Uh, so I think there's a lot of examples, but this is the most glaring example of inconsistent characterization, just sort of throughout the show. Yeah. So like one thing that I can say is that so for that example specifically, if Satoru, if this, if the characters were switch, if Satoru was not there and Tsukasa was there, that would be perfectly acceptable because like. Sukasa is a terrible human being. Yeah, like, I, I yeah. agree. Yeah. Sukasa's insane. Like, he's like, yeah. oh, I just need to murder these six people so I can get what I want. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom, no big deal. Yeah, but you know? seem like, does he seem like one who cares about, like, personal lust or whatever either, though? No, like, he doesn't, because he doesn't seem so, like so a human being. And, like, right. physical desires are a human relationship. Right, so I don't think he <laughs> would. Yeah, and, he wouldn't do and that. And he, he yeah. tries to become a, like... He tries to become this big, like, I think in his head, and I think this might have been stated in in the actual show, that he wanted to transcend humanity. He wanted, he had powers that were not human, and therefore he wanted to become, like, humanity's greatest thing. Because he wanted to transcend the crime syndicate that he was in, wasn't he? Well, he, I think... he was mostly sad because his daddy didn't love him enough, right? Like, that well, was... Yeah, but, like... He wanted to he wanted to transcend Hayashi. He wanted to be better than him at everything. So therefore he had to he ended up killing him. Yeah, well I thought I thought he killed him because it was sort of like a like you told me to obey the company, you didn't pay attention to me, and now now the company wants me to kill you. And so if you would pay more attention to me, I wouldn't have to do this, but fuck you, Dad. Like that's kind of the vibe yeah. I got as well. Like, I don't know if he wanted to, like, transcend human... I think he wanted to, like, step out of the shadow of... It's interesting because the reason that he had humanity was because of, um... What's his name? Hayashi. Hayashi. So, like, in some ways, I think he wanted to become his own person by rebelling against Hayashi. Um and like it, he did it very poorly i mm-hmm. i don't know i i honestly have a little bit of an issue uh, like from a 
I don't want to get too like preachy or whatever, but what the fuck? I'm going to. We have preach. Like, seven listeners. Preach. Um, Whoa, we have more than yeah, that. Like, Come on, man. <laughs> well, maybe that's um, the watch club. Yeah, you and might. I love all forty of you. Um, <laughs> but like the concept just like seemed like sort of like innately ableist to me, where like these pe- these like disturbed people could only be made people, like through this interaction, like with this one guy. And, like, otherwise, without that experience, their lives were completely meaningless, and there wasn't any amount of, like, medicine or therapy or whatever they could, like, substitute for. I don't know. It just makes me uncomfortable. Like, yeah. the... um, oh, What's it called when you... Like, the othering of people with, like, severe mental, like, disabilities and things like that. Because the... The implication very much is that, like... I guess, like, on one hand, he did, like, sort of cure their thing. I don't know. It was just weird. It was a weird concept that they were going around to hospitals to find mentally disturbed people to, like, turn into semi-slaves. I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah. I and, guess, and, like, like ha- and ha- uh, Hayashi's, like, viewpoint, though, did, it seemed like he kind of, like, viewed it as, like, legit saving them compared to, like, other people who are using them as, like, weapons. I, so. I agree. I think he he thought he was doing the right thing, and then in retrospect, he decided that he had fucked up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just think that there's there's the the central premise there. Uh, like, what did you guys get out of it? What was the message? What did we learn from this experience? Um. Crime is bad. Let people make their own decisions. I don't know. There really, I feel like there really wasn't like a message. To be honest, I, I see. Th- there the has to, be. to not watch pet. There has to be a message, and like I, I, I don't know. Like, like I don't know. Like, don't rely on others. Make your own decisions. Something like that. I, uh, I have something along those lines is what I'm going with. See, the reason I don't so, think it's just inherently that is because as soon as Sukasa starts making his own decisions, his life goes completely out of control. Oh yeah, he, he's yeah, he just loses everything. <laughs> so here, here's the thing. So like, I think. So I think depending on the situation that you're in, because Sukasa, Sukasa, and let's let's be real about this. Sukasa is just a brat, basically. Like he just completely, he just wants to rebel because he's like mentally a teenager against Hayashi. But unlike a teenager, he actually has the power to to like actually rebel and actually get what he wanted even though he didn't think through everything that he wanted and the thing is Hiroki on the other hand he really didn't want to be he didn't he really didn't want to rebel against Tsukasa he wanted to be like right beside Hiroki I mean right beside Tsukasa the whole time and because Tsukasa was ended up becoming a, a sociopath, uh, Hiroki ended up having to choose his own way. Um, and that became him being his own person. Satoru, he really wanted to to like meet with Hayashi because uh, Satoru is very grateful to him. Um, but the thing is, Satoru ends up having to find his own way also because... Hayashi is dead, basically, and yeah. just yeah, and he does he isn't able to to like find anything else to go along because now the crime syndicate is out to get him, and Satoru needs to Satoru needed to find a way, and he didn't have another way other than finding his own. Way. Uh, but I think it's saying depending on your situation. Mm. Or something like that. Uh, also, there is the have. It's also heavily implied that this is a uh, a social commentary about uh, people with autism. Well, autistic people, because of like people with moderate to severe autism. Yeah, which is we fucked. Had, see, I think some of it is like about personal responsibility or something. Because I think that that's like being responsible for your own actions and not blaming like the people who molded you for the path you take 
yeah. um, or not using that as an excuse is what I th- I think it is like sort of like a nature versus nurture. Yeah, you could. I think you could definitely like say that. You know, There's because the, of... everyone has to t- make peace with their own decisions at the end. And then we see like, the, like there's heavy nurture vibes, right? Because yeah. naturally these people are un- unable to be people and they have to be nurtured in order to become people. So they are molded almost exclusively through nurture as opposed to nature. Um, and then they need to learn to like, let go of that nurture and become their own person or something. I don't know. Um, but like, I just feel like the show is really trying to tell us something. I just, I don't think it did a good job, but I think it's worth examining what it was trying to say. Um, one of one of the things that I do want to say is like playing the devil's advocate here. Like let's say that it's trying to say if uh, if nature is a driving force in these people's lives. I mean, if nurture is a driving force in these people's lives, these people have no way of becoming, uh, these people have no way of becoming their own person. And this is how nurture gets them. This is how nurture becomes of them, uh, like more molds them basically. And it, it might be trying to say that nature is needed for, for this. Or like, yeah, I think but I think we see I I think we see that in like Sukasa, someone who is unable to get past um the nurturing figure in his life and the negative effects that they have left on him, as well as only dwelling on like the positive effects and defining himself entirely through his relationship um with um. Uh, uh, Hayashi, right? And then you have Satoru, who, other than that one just so strange scene, um, we see he's able to forge his own path without the person who gave him his peak, right? Like, he gets there at the yeah. end. He finds a purpose um, to take care of uh H- Hiroki and then Hiroki fish boy. seems fish boy fish boy is sort of like a like a teetering between the two and you see that he like ends up on like the Satoru side of things at the end and I think like maybe that's like the main question because at the end he has to accept that he is responsible for the uh, killing essentially Sukasa um and the way that, like, the magic system works, he is, like, enamored with Tsukasa because Tsukasa gave him his peak, so there's, like, an unnatural level of admiration that comes from the person um, who did that. So, I I don't know. I I honestly think, like, the whole interactions that they, they forge between these, like, four characters are pretty interesting, but I also think that, like, they get there in a very roundabout way. And then also, uh, I don't know how well it, anything else in the show reinforces the feast. Um, so I don't know. Like, Pete, do you have anything on all this? Or um, I guess, to me, I think that there are, like, these deeper meanings that it's supposed, it's supposed to, like... You know, like like what Cow was saying, like maybe something with like autism or something like nature nurture. You know, bringing out more than what was just available in the show. I just felt like it didn't like present it enough for me to like care like what the over, like like the what it's supposed to be like portraying. I guess I'll put it that way. I think that there are these like underlying things with the show. I just didn't. I don't know, it was a combination of them not presenting it well enough, or just me not caring. I just to me, it's just like. Oh, it's a crime drama with people, uh, their minds and stuff. It's like, that's like what I got from it. I didn't, I wasn't like A, looking for a deeper meaning or B, saw it, to be honest. Yeah, I I think that's fair because I don't think it, I don't think it does a great job of like showing it. But I, I after our manga club yesterday, I was talking to Mako about the ending to, um, 
All you need is kill. Die, repeat, or yeah. all you need is kill. Yeah, sorry, it's too many names. And um, she did like a really good job of like breaking that down and everything, and like finding the message behind that. So I was like, I'm gonna try to do that to Pet. So I've been really <laughs> thinking about Pet. Um, so Whoopsies. I don't know if I've just gone down a rabbit hole. Um, but you know, I, 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 I like I, I think it's best to like even when something sucks, like Pet. To like engage with it in an honest way, where I'll at least spend the time to think if it's trying to tell me something. Yeah. Even yeah. if it's speaking gibberish, um, mm -hmm. you know, because like, okay, to like deconstruct what I just said and to just maybe like try to prove that there is nothing that's being said here, and this show shouts into the void of meaningless words. Um. Goodbye, cat. Um, He'll be back, I hope. Like, what on God's green earth is the point of the little girl? Oh, my my Ling is... I, I is think she that... just there to be, like, a moral question? Like, is she just there to, like, drive the divide between people? Well, I, I think her... I, th I think there's a few things. Uh, the importance of why, because they reference it a bunch of like why they want to produce these babies, and the importance of somebody like Mai Ling, who has the ability to do what um, Hiroki does without having to physically touch somebody, so she can do it from like a distance, and that way she can like kind of do it without knowing. Or people like knowing that she's doing it. I think that's kind of like the, like the main thing. Like why they want to produce these babies is kind of like what I got from yeah. it, and it show like why my Ling is superior to somebody like Hiroki or to Satoru. Is kind of what I was getting from her, and she's I also was... just like the puppet for um, the president and like uh, Long and Jin. Okay. Yeah. So I meant more from like a like a meta narrative perspective. Um. Oh, that's a like, big word, my man. What does that mean? <laughs> so, like, I don't know. Like, what does she represent in the the message of the story? Like, is, is she there to tell us something, like, symbolically? Is she, like, a metaphor or something? Oh, man, that's way too deep for what I got out of this show. So I'm out for this one. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Like, I, I, I just, you know... I, I'm just trying, I think that her role, like, what's her, like, role in the story, basically, from, like, a con, like, a, you know, rising action, climax, falling action sort of thing, is I think she's just there to, like, be the moral divide between the people who are not bad people and the people who are bad people. Yeah, um, like, she doesn't know what she's doing is, like, wrong, so, like. She has no idea what's going on. So, like, yeah, um, I, I agree with, like, that median, like, yeah, the divide, the median type of person in this but like do you think the show does a good job of exploring because i i don't think so i don't I think don't... it does a good job of exploring exactly why this is bad and yeah what it, it could it... be compared to yeah because like it basically doesn't have it doesn't have a control for the good side of things and this is kind of like the this is kind of like the full effect and the bad type of thing is it, like this is basically control for the bad type of thing, and I think it, it. I think Hayashi is trying. I think they tried to use Hayashi as the control for the good type of thing. I'm saying this kind of mm -hmm. like a, a kind of like an experiment. Uh, basically, like I, I think that Tsukasa was supposed to be like the the most terrible person in this. Like, and he 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 is the most terrible person in the story, but like he's supposed to be the control for the most terrible like effect and then hayashi is supposed to be the best effect but it's but instead of hayashi being the best effect it's saying good intentions don't always the good the intentions don't always meet the ends i mean good intentions never good enough Yes, okay. the basically. The path to hell is paved with good intention. Exactly. Um, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I guess, like, I agree. I, yeah, I think, okay, that's a very good point, Kat. I think that we never see this power 
being used for something that the show says is good. We never yeah. see that. It's only bad. Like, even giving, like, two to three people consciousness is framed as bad by the end of the show. Yeah. Um, because of all of the awful things they end up doing later on and the things they can be used for. Um, so, like, I, I agree. I think that, like, if you want your, your message to be, like, things go to shit, or like this could be this could have been used for good and it was used for bad or like human nature is like bad or whatever you're trying to go for like I'm all for things like that Devilman Crybaby is my favorite anime I'm about it but I think you need your Mickey Makamura right like you need to see what the good is in a better way than the show presented in order for that contrast to be as impactful yeah. um because so, right now it's just, and I think, and this is another thing that I want to transition to, uh, like toward, like at the ending, uh, the ending of, um, of Pat, it kind of sets up for like kind of a cliffhanger, kind of like for a second season or something like that, which is probably not going to get, um, I don't think there but, is even in the yeah. manga. I'm pretty sure this, I'm pretty sure this almost covers the entire manga. Yeah. But like it just seems like it's setting up for something else to happen because it has Jen. I mean, not Jen, but well, yeah, yeah it has Jen Long and the president. Katsuragi's dead. Um, well, Long is dead as well. Oh yeah, Long is Long dead. got shot in the head. <laughs> Long yeah. is super dead. Um, you usually don't come back from that. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, well, debatable. There are some characters that have. Oh, I mean, it's shown it or something like that. Sure, you just get the Dragon Balls and you're good. I was about to say we're, we're yeah. watching an anime named Pet. I mean, Pet, they're like Miles said in Pet Cemetery. They, you never well, know. that's a good Pat, point. Pat, that is a great point. People. Thank you. I, I'm as you guys can tell. Well, I, I am fighting a headache, so bear with me as my that, participation Pat. is very slow. But uh, yeah, you know, Pet. It's uh, yeah. Miles's joke at the beginning of this show. There we go. That's my contribution to this conversation about that. Well, what if we gave the reanimated corpse of the man's wife a peek, would she be fixed? <laughs> well, <laughs> isn't that isn't that what's kind of hinted? Is that they're going to convert Long into a baby at the end? Because she says something yeah. like, "Like, hey, like Long is going to come back. I'm going to make him a baby. We are going to like get our revenge on what happened." And so it, it kind of like it's like is the hint like. People are like, reanimated like a pet cemetery into a uh, pet into a baby. Like that's kind of like what I was thinking. I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, is that is that where wasn't the story's the, going? Wasn't the president the person who said that, or was that Jen? no? That was Jin. Jin said oh. that. Jin said that talking to the president, and then like my my Ling is like next to her. They're like in a chair, and she's looking all yeah. like psychopathic, like because her lover just got killed. Yeah. And yeah. So which is that's what I got from it. Which was also weird to me because, like, uh, I felt like no, I'm not saying Satoru, but I'm saying like uh, there there were people that treated her better than Long did because wasn't Long kind of like uh, abusive in some way? I don't remember exactly. Yeah, but there's abusive relationships was. all the time everywhere. Yeah, that's true. Well, this but entire like, show is just toxic yeah, relationships. Super toxic <laughs> yeah, relationships. True. Not even it's just really romantically, fun. just like in every aspect of the word relationship is just toxic. Including one yeah. with the audience because it's toxic. That they make us <laughs> true. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Pat's going to be upset Pat... about how high the show Oh, yeah. We should actually talk about the things yeah. that we liked about the show because there are things I enjoyed about this show. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's I, a... you know, I kind of did. I mean, I I think that at the core of it, the interpersonal relationships in the show of the main cast are interesting. I think the crime organization is kind of interesting. I think, I mean, the this show is a great example of premises and everything because the premise is pretty cool. 
Um, yeah. And they have that's not flashes a compliment. of getting it, though. That's not a compliment, is yeah, it? But they, but they do a good job with it in some of the episodes, right? There are episodes yeah. where I was actually interested in to see where these relationships and everything went and like how things would get resolved. I thought the entire time they were going to redeem Tsukasa somehow because like I've watched enough anime to know that it really doesn't matter what you do. You'll if you're just like I love friendship, they'll all take you back. So the fact that he was like Jesus Christ, I'm a horrible human being. I just realized th- realized this. Please brain fuck me. It was nice. I liked it. It was nice. <laughs> that was nice. Um, <laughs> you know, but like I, I mean, I did. I liked that there was. They tried to tell a tragic story and they let there be tragedy in it. Um, yeah, which is a thing that not a lot of shows do. I liked that they explored. The, the toxic sort of relationships that people have and these like really admiring things. Like, I think there's probably some intended deconstruction elements in this for like these super obsessive, like friendships and mentorships and stuff that you see in types of anime. And I, I just like, it's neat. I thought it was good how they did it. Sometimes I, not all the time. And that's the problem with the show because if you're half fine and you're half bad, your show is bad. Um, but there was yeah. a half that was good. So, yeah. you know. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I really and... liked that it ended. So, <laughs> so there we go. Uh, the no, OP I, was joking. also a banger. Um, was yeah. It was hot actually, take? I didn't like it. It was I, made by the same people who made the OP for the, for the first season of Tokyo uh, Ghoul. Of Tokyo Ghoul, yeah. Which is also psychopaths. Probably. Uh, it wouldn't surprise yeah. me. It's the same style of show. Yeah. But, like, one of the things that I personally liked about it was that... So, it was... So, Tsukasa, for a lot of uh, characters in anime, like, there are a lot of characters that are, do like, are bad, but they give, like, some good points to. And because... And because of that, like, there there are characters that, like, you get hints of that they do terrible, terrible things, but then you see, like, they have, like, good intentions, and or something to that effect. Tsukasa was one of those characters that he had no good intentions. He was actually a terrible person. He was not trying to... He was not trying to make the world a better place. He was actively trying to make it worse. And because... Tsukasa ended up realizing who, like, what he was doing. He realized that he had strayed, strayed along his own place because he was rebelling. And it's kind of like, kind of like what I said earlier, like how, um, how a, uh, how a, a teenager who's rebelling, they don't really have enough, they don't really have enough power to completely rebel against the people that they're rebelling against, which is normally their parents or their parental figures. Um, and he had more than enough power to do it. And because he had more than enough power to do it, he got what he wanted, but his intentions ended up pushing forward what he wanted to do. And he realized that what he wanted, to, he got the consequences after everything was said and done. After he wasn't able to, after he wasn't able to pull back, that type of thing. And I, I really liked that aspect of it. That's interesting, because I thought he was by far the worst character in the entire show, and I hated every second that he was on the on Oh, the don't get me wrong, I'm not <laughs> saying that he liked the character, that's, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying that the character archetype, I haven't seen too often. We're talking about Tsukasa? Yeah. Yes. So, oh, do you think he's the worst character, or was he your least favorite character? Um, I do. I I thought like in terms of like his progr- his downfall, I guess from episode one to like episode thirteen, felt really out of place. Just like how many? Because it, it, it seems like it's presented in the beginning like he's a pretty well crafted like professional at this type of position. He's done this before. He knows the role that he plays and he does it well. And then um. Kind of just like how he does it to um, Hayashi, and the, that was like what kind of like starts like this immediate downfall. I thought it went like really fast, like way too fast, and that kind of took me away from his character. And I didn't really like how he was presented as like this professional who does one job that he maybe wasn't a big fan of, 
and just immediately loses his mind. He goes crazy. He's doing everything he can to like try to escape. He's trying to set everybody up. And I just thought like how that progressed was just a little too fast for me. And it kind of pulled me away from his character. And I really didn't. I, and also the combination of me just not liking him on screen just like added to that whole like formula of why I did enjoy him and why he's like my least favorite character. I can see why people like him though. Like I think his archetype makes, uh, is like, like I was saying, I think his archetype can work. I just didn't enjoy it when he was presented to me. I think that's yeah. super fair. I, 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 to me, it just sort of seemed like someone who like is holding it all together and then they have to like do a thing and it just unravels the entire thing. Yeah. Now, like, I, th- I like the, I thought the a- way they animated him was different because he starts getting bags under his eyes. He starts dressing worse. He starts yeah. just appearing more manic as time goes Even on. Even when he like uh, dyes his hair, he does it poorly. Um, yes. Yeah. It's like not all the way gray or whatever that he colors it. He's, he's just like mm-hmm. what? He's just like whatever. Like, like, yeah. like so, if, this, if this fails and we die, like I don't care. It's, oh, I just okay. A, a random criticism that I need to throw in. I know we're trying to be positive or whatever, but um, the sound direction in this very good. I have like oh, terrible. Not <laughs> ever realize like everything I've every anime and TV show I've ever watched before has had fine sound direction, apparently, because, oh my god, was it awful in spots. Like, when people would be talking in the background, and then you would have, like, internal monologue of a main character, which would be, like, the focus, it would be, like, way quieter, and then they wouldn't layer it correctly. It was just so bad. Also, when they do it in Chinese and Japanese at the same time, yeah, Yeah. it was really complicated and confusing. It's like, Wait, 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 which one of these is am I, am I supposed to be looking at? Which subtitle? Like, yeah. I understand, like, why it's not dubbed, but, like, it was it was confusing at times. Yeah. But I want to say things that I really liked about the show because I think people are going to be surprised by my rating when we get to it. Is it's giving it a nine. I'm not giving it a nine. Absolutely not. God. Absolutely There's only not. one place to go from a nine, and that's a ten. Uh, I mean, that's not true at all. I guess if we're going up, that makes sense. But uh, just like Sukasa, we could also fall down. Um, I really enjoyed the crime aspect of using these people as weapons. I thought it makes perfect sense of how these people are utilized in the world. Uh, they want to be, these crime syndicates want to be under the radar. They use tools, even though they do use guns and kill people, they try to rely on the tools that are there in order to just like get the things that they wanted out of it. And I thought that aspect of like this crime drama element that we had in the show was done really well. I also thought that like a few of the, I'll say like half of the cast was pretty good. Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if I agree with miles. If half of it's good and half of it's bad, it's bad because I did really enjoy some of the characters and I liked how they like, even like I like characters that are like the glue and I liked how some of the characters made bad characters good because they were in the scene. They were essentially LeBron James where they make bad players good because you have LeBron James on your team. I don't know if any of these characters are LeBron James, but like they, I think there's definitely characters when interacting with the cast made the bad characters good. So I will give a props to a few characters. I don't know if we're doing like best boy or best girl, but if we do, um, I'll mention those, but those are things that I really enjoyed. I also thought the animation was pretty solid. Like it wasn't like mind blowing, yeah. but I think, like, for a show that I kind of remember in the past, I I do want to say, like, it was better than what I was expecting from a show called Pet. That's all. I'll just put it that way, because I went into it thinking it was going to be hot garbage in terms of visuals. I was thinking, like, Handshakers or something. And it was better than that, so I'll give props to its animation as well. I I think I think we can do Best Boy. I, I think Best Boy is a, a yeah. viable... I, I agree. Category. I think is there only the one female character? Uh I mean my lady is technically two. a girl. Let's no one do that. And the mom please. the mom's three. Well the mom's oh, in yeah. thirty four seconds of the show. She is yeah, a girl the though. Of the show is... <laughs> you are correct. I mean how and... many seconds was the granny? Oh, before we, oh, before right. we go I mean, take on way more than the mom was. Into... Well, more than the mom for sure, but more no more than probably what two minutes of screen time total throughout the show. Maybe? Oh, definitely before more we than go... that. She was in like she had the whole arc with the coach and everything. 
Oh, I guess that's before, true. Yeah. Before we go into um into like the we'll best girl, that. best girl. Uh, I do want to mention. Uh, so Katsuragi ends up it ends up being Jin's uh Jin's like father. Oh yeah, uh, that was so dumb. Yeah, I want to mention this because I think it's a good talking point, and we haven't talked to you, talked to this with you, Pat. Um, oh boy. What do you think about Katsuragi basically being Jen's, basically being with uh, Jen's mom? Because like the thing, the thing that oh, yeah. we kind of like agreed with was like it's kind of fucked. Like I don't think that it is. I don't think that it's ethical for him to be like dicking down Jen's mom. Like that's the, that's Jen's... the phrase we used too. We were like, <laughs> is it ethical yeah. to dick down someone with that level of trauma? That's how I phrased exactly. it. You are a scholar with like, your words. Can she yes. consent? It was. I was gonna say you guys really loaded down. this question for me. Uh, you you guys uh, that really gave me a softball, a, a slow pitch softball for this one. Um, God, I, I the ethical. I, I don't know who defines ethics in this world where there's there's fucking like, like pretty much. Well, science, I mean, you know, nobody's. Funny. Nobody's dicking down my ling, so there's that. Well, she's also like six, so let's not go there. What? And what do you mean, and? Okay, I cats mean, canceled. Yeah, cats canceled. Canceled. <laughs> canceled. You're canceled. You're done. I, 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 okay, we're, You're we're, done. we're leaving this topic. Yeah. Um, as a moderator, I, I will. Topic. Yeah, we I will go okay. slightly to the left. What did you think about the Sorry. reveal that 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 was her dad? Pete and I disagreed on this, Pat. So, like, I. I thought that there was like no hinting towards it, and it was a little melodramatic for the sake of being melodramatic. Um, it, it is kind of closing the gap yeah. of her, of her. Well, I know you're a fan of that, but <laughs> um, well, I'm just saying like that's melodrama. If, 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 like when you say, I don't know, whatever people say, oh, it was dramatic for the sake of being dramatic. It's like, yeah, that's what drama is. Stuff. Well, no, but drama can <laughs> like, add to you the. Know? You could be you could be melodramatic and add to the plot, like or be foreshadowed at all, or like. Because, like, I, it closes yeah. the gap because she wanted to see her mom's face. But, like, there were other ways to do that. Or there yeah. were better ways to set up, in, in my opinion, I don't know. You, you probably don't give a fucking care about that at all. Uh, well, so I I didn't catch the foreshadowing if it was there. I myself. don't think it was, but maybe it was. I, I, it think, was, there, I think there's a little comments. bit. I think there's a little bit. I didn't catch it. Yeah. Uh, I know everyone is shocked to hear that. that that I did not catch it. Um, yeah, we're we're pretty sure that you didn't catch it. Like, no, very sure, rightly. Um, I don't know though. I I didn't think it was that overly melodramatic, but I like melodrama too. So there we go. I don't know. I thought I was just I don't know. Like when it when it happened, I was just like, okay. Another yeah. another talking point, Pat. Um, oh, was that was that reveal your favorite part of the show? <laughs> I already told you my favorite part of the show is when the show the ended. Ending. The yeah. second favorite part of the show. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I think once uh, I liked it when Sukasa was on screen. Uh, I, I liked even though he is batshit crazy and like way over the top with how like sociopathic he is. I, I don't know. That's still a fun character to watch even when it's done poorly. So I, I think that that's where, where my, my favorite moments of the show would be was when he was really like dominating the scene or was it was in charge of the moment um again though i that's very few and far between in terms of like favorite moments because i'm not and not that he's not on the screen often but that i didn't have a ton of favorite moments that really resonated with me i guess um i don't know um all right i'll make it's my turn to make a moderator ex executive decision we're moving on to best boy okay uh pat kind of just gave his best boy Tsukasa. You're saying Tsukasa? Wow. Yeah. That's bold. Wow. I like it. Who's your, it who's your worst boy? I like it because he is like what? Who's your worst boy? human. I, he's a terrible human. That's why he's best boy. I don't know. I found it. <laughs> yeah, like I said, oh, wow. again, that's why I enjoyed the show at least a tiny bit because of him. The very tiniest amount because of him. So I'd say him. Uh, so your best boy is the worst character, is the worst person in terms of like humanity in the show sure yeah uh, is that wow. a problem that's fine no, I, it's not a problem. that's I like saying say that's that like part. saying griffith is your favorite character from berserk like that's cool and he's like an awful human yeah. being 
Yeah, like uh, well, I'm, I'm some of us would disagree, but yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, good oh, thing yeah, Haz isn't here. Are, oh, Griffith okay, did nothing right. wrong. Griffith did nothing wrong, yeah. apparently, according to Haz, and yeah. he's half of the people that I know that have. <laughs> so you know, half, half of the people are right, half the people are wrong, apparently, and I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I don't know, uh, Miles. What about you? What have you got for best boy and? Yeah. yeah, so I think, okay, my best boy, I think, is going to be Hayashi, because, like, boy, did he try, you know? Like, the entire world was just falling apart around him, and he's like, I'm going to get an A for effort, and he succeeded at essentially nothing, Um, but he tried. He tried to keep it all together, and it fell apart. And you know what? That happens sometimes. Um, Worst boy is like long because he's also like a psychopath, but not in an interesting way. He's like a psychopath <laughs> in the way that we all like know Jerry down the street is like a huge douche. Yo, fuck so, Jerry. Yeah. Um, you know, so that's that. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm laughing at something happy just sent in our chat. Uh the, uh, the side topic. Um uh cat. <laughs> I love I love happy. He's great. Making my all right. better. Cat, what have you got? Best boy. So, my best boy is honestly, I think it's going to be Hiroki, mainly because Hiroki was kind of like them. Hiroki was kind of like shoved into every single situation that he was ever in. Like, he he was following Satoru because that was, I mean, not Satoru, he was following um, Tsukasa because that's all he knew. And then, after Tsukasa went fucking insane, uh, and so got, like he was just trying to follow the person that he looked up to the most and then he ended up losing that person so he ended up he ended up following Satoru after that point and like he he there were times where he tried to branch off but like he was just trying his he was just trying his best he was just trying to be with the person that he loved because and he felt indebted to and after he ended up losing him, he ended up feeling that weight of the loss that he ended up that he ended up giving him. Uh, that he ended up giving himself, and he just he just felt terrible about it. And like, I feel like I feel the worst about uh, Hiroki. I mean, not the worst, but I feel the most for Hiroki. Uh, and that's why he's my best boy. Worst boy, definitely gonna be. It's definitely gonna be long because long feels like that type of long feels like in like you know those long shonens where like you've got those like mini bosses, long the uh, characters, like the characters that like it's think not. they're they're hot shit and then get like fucking Aramaya right? from um, Code Geass. Code Geass. Yeah. Yeah, pre face turn. Yeah, like he, you've already like, seen it. No, have I? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's the guy who they call Orange. He's in like episode four. Oh, oh, okay, that guy. That, yeah, I got what you're saying. I got what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, okay. like okay. long, long is the long tries to be like this controlling person, and then he's just like he just gets shot in the face like that. That's how that's how it was, and like he's he's. Like you guys said, he's the least interesting person, like, in the show, in my opinion. Like, even the president, even though we don't see that much about him, he is, like, he's got, he's still got a lot of mystery about him. But, like, Long, who the fuck cares about Long, basically? Uh, yeah, I don't. Okay, uh, that's... My turn! For me. Yeah, okay. I guess there you go. Um, sorry. Before I do my best boy, I was to say my favorite character was Jin. I loved Jin. Every time that she was on screen, I loved how she meshed with everybody. Um, and I, now I also want to say that going uh, all the male cast in this show, I didn't think was that great. So um, minus one scene, Satoru is my best boy. Um, if we just what a scene, act, if we just act like the date rape scene didn't happen, yeah, I think he was actually like a really good character. Um, that was fucking weird. Um, honestly, that whole thing, but I really liked how he came from, like, I think like metaphorically speaking through like his whole existence, how he like created his own peak towards the end. Like he became like his own person. He wasn't relying on Hayashi. Like a lot of the other people were, 
Um, he kind of like became like his own person. I was a big fan of that. Worst character, uh, Sukasa by Mile. I fucking hated Sukasa every time he was on screen. He was so annoying, especially towards the end. Um, I, w- I wish he got shot, but instead he got, I don't know, he got uh, Thanos, I guess, or something like that. So either way, he's gone. So I'm happy for that. So peace out. That's my best and worst boy. Okay. Well, you've gotten through them all. Um, now let's do our closing thoughts. I think on on Pat. I think I'm ready to ready to put it down. Uh, you know, it's it's had a long life, and it's just it's time. You know, uh, old yellow fair, joke. Yeah, fair. Well, just any any sad moment. I any movie with just the take it to the back and. and... Killing a dog, yeah, great. Or killing an animal, uh, great. That happens in the show. Thanks for having yeah. me say it. Uh, all right, Miles. killing your pet, Miles. So begin begin the process. Like I guess, um, pull start pulling the needle out. I don't know. Like, like just get the euthanasia going. So I had a lot of fun talking about this, um, and I have this tendency to. Um, overinflate scores when I have fun talking about a show. Just because, like, I get high on the concept. Uh, I'm not going to do that with Pet. I remember the first two episodes. Um, I I think that like uh, I don't know. The show has some highlights. The show also kind of blows. And I think that the show is definitely, like, more fun when you strip, like, a ton of it away and you discuss some of the finer points. Um, ultimately, I think that I am going to give the show a five, um, a five for average. I think it's average. Um, you know, I don't know. It, it's not, I was a little torn between a five and a six, but like, ultimately I dreaded watching some of these episodes, like dreaded, hated it. Um, and I think something that I like actively hate that much, it really doesn't matter how okay other parts were. So five. Five. Five out of ten. Okay. Let me add that to my little calculator. All right, Kat, um, put the needle on, on the dog's backside. Go ahead. The needle? Um, we're, don't, we're, don't you mean the don't going. you mean the muzzle? No, we're we're, we're euthanizing the dog. dog. We're euthanizing oh. the dog. Yeah. So the we were... needle is gonna be pushed in by Pete and then Pat's gonna push in the plunger. Pat's gonna okay. pull the trigger okay. on the shotgun. That's us. <laughs> <laughs> but the shotgun is in his mouth, not the dog. <laughs> it, okay, it, it's angled intentionally so that it hits both of us. There we go. There you um, go. This is okay. wow. We are really going off the deep end. Uh, can you tell that I am just not okay today? All right, Kat, uh, go ahead. <laughs> Pat's the first barrel. Pete's the second barrel, or whichever one. I All fucking right. just talk about this awful show. Go. <laughs> okay, so. My so I've already watched it three times. My closing my closing thoughts are that Pet is a the first part of Pet is a clusterfuck. Second part of Pet is eh, and the third part of Pet is pretty decent, but like only pretty decent. Um, the thing is, this show really gets compelling towards the end, and other than other than that, like. You're really just trudging through, like, you're really just trudging through a desert that de- that begins to have a little bit of food, only to get to an oasis that's kind of like only to get basically to a seven to a Seven Eleven. Like that's that's how it is. Like, of course, at the end of the show, the Seven Eleven is fucking great, but then like once you go back to like once you go back to being at places that are not Seven Eleven, they are. They're like Seven Eleven is still kind of shitty, so like it's great for the show, but like the show isn't that great, you know what I mean? Uh, so honestly, my score for it, um, it's I wouldn't say that it's average because there are shows that are fives that are terrible, and I and I think that this show just barely transcends that. Uh, and because of that, I'm giving it a six. So, like, the show is, the show is okay. It's, it's fine. But, like, 
Okay. Yes, I'm giving it a six. But okay. yeah, I I do want to say that I really enjoyed the let the last parts of the show. But other than that, no. Yeah, it was like a three part story where only one part was enjoyable, so therefore it's a six. Okay. Um, I, I'm just giving you shit, cat. Uh, Pete, go ahead. What's your score? Because apparently uh, you're going to be the highest. Yeah, score. I th- I think I will be the highest. Uh, there was oh a lot of things God. that I really enjoyed about Pet. I really like the relationships that they built throughout the story, minus the first like two or three episodes. I thought after we got through that, I thought the show was actually semi enjoyable. And I am a huge fan of shows that stick to landing. I thought the ending was fantastic. Ep- I thought episode 12 was like really good. I had a really good time uh, like concluding the story. Um, but like that being said, like I do not blame anybody who watches this show for five minutes and then drops it because it's honestly one of the worst, like first three episodes of anime I've ever seen in my entire life. It's hot garbage. It's kind of like Black Clover. The first 45 episodes of Black Clover are fucking terrible. And then it gets good. And if you don't want to wait that long, I completely understand. Um, but that being said, I enjoyed like Jin and Satoru and a lot of the cast members interacting with each other. Love the crime elements. Animation was pretty solid. And I just thoroughly enjoyed the story. Like, I-, I did think it missed at some parts of like explaining the powers explaining the valleys and peaks and stuff like that but i thought the premise was there and i had a good time watching it i'm giving it a seven nice okay to hammer in the quality of the show we just watched um giving it a seven is viewed as a like remarkably high score (laughs) everyone's a little surprised if i was grading this as a paper at school this was a c this was a c paper Okay. Well, see, uh, this is why I guess uh, I don't know. I maybe if it was a a paper about math, and maybe maybe it would be a C for Pete because that's his expertise. If this was a, a history paper in my history class, this would have gotten an F. This would have been sent back and told to be worked on and revised before I would even maybe give it a grade because that's how that's how little I enjoyed the show. There were certain like, and again. I, I guess I didn't really even iterate this when I, when we were talking about it. I uh, I can see how someone might like the show or certain aspects of the show. And I also don't think it didn't look horrifically bad. You know, it's not like there were constant animation errors. So I'm, it's not like I'm going to give this like a one or a two because I, that's how bad it was. Because like, it, again, it's not blood blockade battlefront levels of just <laughs> horrific, <laughs> horrific show. That doesn't stick anything, you know, um, but I'm letting my enjoyment or my lack thereof of enjoyment dominate, I think, my scoring in this one, whereas normally I try to balance it a little better. Uh, I'm giving this a four out of ten. I I don't know, man. I would we went four, five, six, seven. That's so fun. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Make your math really easy. My math yeah. was really easy. It was a... Uh, I came out with a 5.5. That's what I got, too. Uh, wow, yeah. crazy. It's like I used a calculator. <laughs> uh, <laughs> crazy. Uh, so, yeah, 5.50 average score for Pet. Ooh, this is going to be higher than if her flag breaks is has going to die. And that's about a point lower than its mal rating. Yeah, it's for reference. mal rating 6.46. Yeah. So, not the worst score we've ever given a show. Um non so It is the fifth lowest no, score we've ever no Battlefront. You're right, you're right. If her flag breaks, non Handshakers, Blood Blockade, Battlefront. Mm, you're right. There we go. Okay, well, that ends our discussion on Pet. It's, it's over! It's in, a, it's in a better place. There, there we've come full circle. You're glad you're watching it, Pet? Um, you know, I'm just, we, yep, it's, uh... Aren't you, aren't you glad? Aren't you, aren't you just, like, in overjoyed that you don't have to watch it anymore? Yeah, my headache is going away. Yeah, I think Pat's ready to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. I've had a long day. Um, let's, uh, let's talk about what show won, Miles. Uh, what, what was the final results of our tallying of votes? Sure. That you can also participate in if you're listening still, for some fucking reason. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't um, know. so we vote. We vote for shows. Um, we do vote for shows. We do. Um, 
So in third place, one second, where's the club? You don't seem too happy. (laughs) Uh, Una segunda, which is really broken Spanish. Okay. Um, (laughs) Very broken. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) One second, like second third fourth yes <laughs> um <laughs> uh, <laughs> i love it so in third place we have girls un Ponza. let's go in second place we have now and then here and there oh so close and in first place rosario Giabate. Oh my god, it won! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not true at all. Oh. That, I'm sorry, I guess I couldn't do it. To, I couldn't do it. Uh, now when they are here and they're one, it Whoa! finally won. Let's go, Pat! <laughs> Let's go! Um, Giabate came in third. There was a tie at second for Girls Un Panzer and Rosario Vampire 2. Wait, I, I'm, um, I'm confused. The curse is broken, Pat! The curse is broken! No, you finally happened? won one! You won! You finally uh, won one! Yay! Pat, 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 Pat. Yeah. You're like a Nigerian basketball player. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Um, On the context, uh, maybe people don't get that joke. <laughs> hopefully, they just, they, 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 hopefully they listen to the beginning of the podcast. If they, if they are listening now, they listened at the beginning and they would understand. Or if they paid attention to current events. I don't know. That's like the biggest upset. To We're an anime podcast. So you gotta realize that. Years. Yeah, you're right. I hate well, basketball too. Yeah, yeah. yeah you I play it professionally that. and you hate it. Yeah, I know. Well, you know what? A job's a job. Yep, gotta get paid. So yeah. I, I just added uh, Giabate to our legacy point. Let's list. go. So, yeah, oh baby, um, which is yeah. which one of the things is that I feel like I'm never gonna get another vote again. Uh, and how <laughs> do you nominate shit? I, yeah. I don't know. So I nominated like, the eccentric Pat, family. Pat's wins have been fine. We've had well, okay, first, I think. they've been yeah. a they've been a mixed bag. Um. <laughs> We've had uh, Land of the Lustrous, which was quite enjoyable. Um, yep. If a bit too cliffhangery at the end, but a good show, great characters. Um, the we had you did Bacano, didn't you? No, uh, that I did Bacano. Me, I don't think. Oh, Pete did yeah, Bacano. Okay, yeah. you just really like days after Bacano. You try. You almost did Perfect Blue, but then you were like sad because we were really mean to non Baca. So then, yeah. I re-upped Perfect Blue. Um, and that was my favorite was like anime movie of all time. Your like number five brainchild, and then you also did Pet, which Pete gave a seven. I gave it a so, seven. Yeah, you know that's that's where we're at. Um, okay, everybody, what are we nominating uh, next week? Let's go with Pat, the man of the hour himself. He sat through an hour and a half of us talking about something that he clearly loathes in order to hear that his show wins will now and then here and there beat pet on pete's rankings we'll find out in two weeks yes two weeks from now which will be the 26th so now we're nominating for august 9th will be our that the meeting that we are nominating for yes by the way pat i want to ask you a question okay where where is uh now and then here and there streamable oh yeah i forgot about this it's not streamable anywhere Oh, well, shit. It was at one point on Amazon Prime, I could have sworn. I've done it twice. Yeah, you give me shit. I know. I (laughs) fucked up twice. My bad. I swear to God, it was on Amazon Prime at one point when I started nominating it. Maybe, you know, if you guys voted for it a year ago when I first nominated it. Oh, boy, I did. have a problem. Yes, you did. I know. Um, Yeah, I never did. Um, It's okay. Um, You're in for a surprise. All right, yeah, so that's right. I didn't... That's right, I won, so I have to come up with a new show. Um, this is what you always do to me, so I'm doing it to you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. All right, I'll I'll re up another show that I've nominated that's gotten like four legacy points. Or okay, one. We are doing Elfin Lead. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Okay, everybody, do one. not vote for Elfin Lead. <laughs> I will say you can rent each individual episode of Now and Then Here and There on YouTube for two dollars an episode. I would yeah. rather yeah. watch that again. Yeah, I, I would also. And pay 20 bucks to watch an anime? Yes. 
Yes, I that's fair. I pay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm paying like twenty <laughs> bucks right now. You can't rent the whole season. Well, I know I <laughs> will be whole... legally purchasing it. Wink, wink. From okay, YouTube. I legally purchase all the bullshit stuff we're not doing, so don't even make fun of me. It's awful. I have like four thousand dollars worth of manga behind me. It's cool. You know how many stupid movies I have because you, Pete, because you don't know how to nominate things that are like, streaming. Like services. five, <laughs> like five. Get over it. <laughs> I'll buy you a Docky Burra. Relax. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> Docky Makara. Yeah, yes, there we yeah go. you know what I meant. That weeb shit. I don't know. Body pillow, yeah. You know, Pete, what are you nominating? Language, you um, Miles, I, I, I feel like you should go before me, Miles, because I think I might take yours. I have a... F- you have a feeling you're going to take mine. Yeah. Because I... Th- I, I, I okay, well, that, all right, I'm going to say it. I think the show... Is it was super fun when I watched it. I think it'll be a great discussion for a Watch Club. I'm nominating Odd Taxi. Oh shit! Oh, I know what I'm voting for. Wow, I don't even want to nominate something now. Okay, <laughs> I've been there. Yeah, vote for Odd Taxi, Cat. What do you got? Um, so I was thinking about. Uh, nominating the eccentric family, but as the eccentric family barely got any votes, apparently. Oh no, no, um, no! It did good. What did it do? I voted Cat show it first. I think it didn't place show. though. I think it, it did. It did place. Oh, did it? No, no. it didn't. It, it did it place because too many people voted for Giabate in first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go us. That's um, hilarious. I probably should have voted for Giabate. Um If you had voted Giabate first, we would be watching Giabate right now. I just I should have changed my vote. <laughs> but here's the thing: I voted. I think I voted for Pat Show uh, first. You, you or did, second. and honestly, thank you because I don't want to have to watch Giabate. I don't want to either. Now we get to watch um, a show that it's at least not cr- panned like remotely by critics. Don't. It's- it's yeah, light. we get to get to we get to watch a show that's point four points higher than Pet. Um, yeah, really? On the that's it? I, I know no, it's, it's like it's like it's... one point two points higher. <laughs> yeah, Solidly but it's tight. probably gonna be it's probably gonna be like around the same thing. Uh, uh, but anyway, we'll find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you got? But, um, so, God. I I was going to nominate the eccentric family. What shows have I nominated that have not won? Let me check. That's a list. Um, okay, I'm going to say <laughs> shows that sound like you might have l- done it because I don't have who nominated everything. Um, were you? Um, what? No, none of this sounds like you. Is No Tarot something you? Uh, No Tarot what? No tarot. Uh, that's probably, what I got. Probably not, then. I think that solves the issue. Guilty yeah, Crown? Was that you? That, that was Haz. Was, no. No, that was me. For oh, that's the, also 24 two, episodes. Yeah. That was me for the 22 episode thing. Um, yeah. What about Your Battle Maidens? Is that you? No. That, that sounds like Haz. Has. That sounds like Haz. <laughs> King's <laughs> Avatar. That was me. Um. Dead Man Wonderland. Has. That was not me. 91 Days? 91 Days, yes. We should talk about 91 Days. I'm going to nominate okay. that. All right, perfect. I'm glad we got there. Great content. Yeah. All right, there Woo! we go. Uh, yeah, thank you for listening this far. Um, yeah. Okay, 91 thank Days. I'm, okay, I'm going to do uh, Death Parade. Ooh. Damn. Which, I don't know. I've never watched, but it's the 47th most popular anime, and it's game mystery psychological drama thriller so it seems like i'll like it and it's op um, is a slapper everybody put your hands up yeah that's... Uh, it's uh it's actually a really really good show i love death parade i would i bawled my eyes out when i watched it i would have voted for it a year ago but i have since watched it so i think i still will vote for it though because that could be a good discussion also, well, you don't have you a have choice. To, you, yeah, you have, well, yeah, you don't have a choice because you nominated a show. You actually have to vote for Death Parade. Yeah, that's true. I do, don't I? Because yeah, because there's only three options. For yes. yes, it'll just yeah, it'll depend where you vote for it. For <laughs> there we go. Um, uh, and yeah. Also, I would like to say that 91 Days is a uh, 
is an action drama and historical. It's a lot like Bacchano is what I've heard from people. And it is apparently really, really good. So definitely you want to have that. another? Yeah. It's also supposed to be... I also see two people with guns in their hands and a lot of people that look like they're mobsters. So this might be fun. I heard it's okay. good as well. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for listening to us talk about this. Uh, this show pet and then... Yeah. All right. Anime Club's over. Go ahead, Pete. All right. If you have made this far, thank you very, very much. If Depending on which uh, audio platform you're listening on, YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, like, comment, subscribe, uh, leave us a review. It helps us beat the algorithm, helps us get the word out. Uh, yeah, it, it, it would. Uh, it's like the best way to support us, honestly. Um, if you're interested in joining in our conversations, we have a Discord link to the uh Discord and all of our social links below uh, in the link tree. You can join us there. Uh, we also have a book club every two weeks on Sundays. If you like reading manga and want to talk about it, we do that. We don't record it, but we just have fun. Uh, I, what are we reading next, Miles? We are reading v- Vagabond. Yeah, Vagabond. So if you want to yeah. read Vagabond with us to talk about it, join our book club every sun- every other Sunday. Um, other than that, we are doing... I don't know what we're doing next. Oh. Well, I'll figure something out on Monday. Next, next week, we episode? start the D&D, po- uh, the D&D podcast. That's not my podcast, so... But uh, Kat yeah, does a D&D true. podcast, so... We'll be starting Starts that. next week. Yeah. Um, yeah, next Monday. Uh, I'll think of something. It'll be anime-related. You should listen to it. Uh, yeah, other than that, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Peace.